I'm happy and I just want to enjoy life and I'm I can laugh at myself. She's got to get out of her shell a little bit more <laughs> and become more energetic to get these interviews to be successful. <laughs> I'm trying. What is your favorite uh, Real Housewives franchise? New York City, and not just because we're here at the premiere party, but really no girls bring it like the New York girls. They don't take themselves too seriously. They they bring the drama, but they also bring the fun with it. Drama, filled. I follow the show. I think everybody's amazing. I think going on this journey being in, in, in reality TV is a huge feat. It is not for the weak. The only standing original, she the says. The last standing Indian. What? What'd you say? Wasn't there something like the last standing Indian? Indian. Ramona, the last standing Indian. Don't cry, y'all. It's good to cry. If it is a mirror image, and I see I do have a, uh, I like to take charge a lot, which some people can say control. So I like to get things done. You know, I want to make sure it's done right, you know? So I'm very efficient. So I have to learn to step back, but then the times I step back, it doesn't get done right. So I'm like, why don't I just take control all the time? What do you hope to gain from having the platform of being on Real Housewives of New York? I hope to help all people with disabilities or challenges. I define challenges as physical, emotional, financial, uh, familial, and the list goes on and on and on. And I have them all, and I want to share them all with you. Hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes and uh, gain from my successes. You understand me? If you're going to call me a liar, we're going to have a problem. I model. I've always modeled. But, you know, maybe the modeling career will pick up a little bit. Maybe, you know, I'll get some of my own products. I used to have a greeting card company. Oh, well. So, yeah, that would be awesome if that got up and running again. Just freaking own it. My first book that was out a very long time ago went back on the New York Times bestseller list after the first season. So that was completely unexpected. So that was the best. Is, for me, it's Carol's boobs. She was the inspiration for my new bra collection. <laughs> Don't tell me anything, mother. I've always been in television, which a lot of people don't know about me. I used to work for Italian television in the 90s for Berlusconi in Milan. I came back to the States and I started my own show in the Hamptons called The Countess Report. And then I got a break um, hosting the Hampton Classic uh, for CBS. And, uh, and then the Housewives arrived. So for me, I had never done reality. So it was just another way of working that I have never done. So I thought, why not? It's an, an adventure and I'm so glad I did. That sounds a little fishy. I think reality television brings out the best and the worst of people. And I thought it brought out the worst in some of the girls on our show. And I cringed for them many times. It was really just kind of the ultimate story of manipulation, lies, and betrayal. What would you say is the most OMG moment, the most out of the world moment you've seen on any of the Housewives shows? It's got to be the Teresa table flip. That's also my favorite, hands down. It was very memorable. A little scary, but memorable. Oh my god, there have been so many. Oh my god, like, I mean, a lot. I can't even sit here and think of one, because that's why they're all popular shows, because they've all had those moments. They're all delicious. It's gonna happen on our show, the last scene. Something with Aviva. It's on my franchise this season, coming soon, near you. I love the fact that she owns it, does not give it away and makes you watch. Hey, it's your girl Nene Leaks with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and you're tuned in to New Media Stew with my boy JB.